we're on and I'm wearing this on the front there's food and shit in here and on my back is that backpack for coats and hat and phone and camera this is a bunch of heavy shit my knees are well they give out they give out on me kids my knees give out and I'm only like 20 but uh I'm still wearing the bling ouch mm. and I got another extreme wound in my side and I'm walking ouch mm. well very slowly to catch the bus and if I miss the bus I'm prepared I'm prepared I, I've got enough shit here that I know I forgot the parasol you got you can't leave with a with a without a parasol it could have fit in the side but I'll find something probably gonna end up getting sunburned but I'm pretty sure I brought some sun tan lotion so I'll use that yeah this is a vacation it's like a vacation from my sanity again yesterday was a rough day my car our our car our car it is our car but at times like this I realize how much I depend on it huh <laughs> I'm sure my baby gets a reminder too I had to walk like this for five miles yesterday not five miles five hours dudes that might be five miles I don't know but for me it was it was five hours so we're sitting we're gonna sit yesterday I had the girls with me and I was carrying Luna in this front couch thing it was actually last night late in the night take deep breaths every once in a while and it hurts I have to force myself to rest because I want to go but I can't like blow out my knees the way I did the two car tires and uh, I ended up on the side of the road in Tosuke near the Tosuke market and after about Oh, I don't know, six hours of sitting there. Well, I was probably out there for like maybe five or five hours probably. Sitting there a long time. I, I don't know how long. Uh, I finally got out of the car. Well, I tried to drive away and I couldn't drive away. And I got out of the car and looked and I had one flat tire on the left and one totally flat tire on the right. So I tried to fix my flat. And I have a jack with no thingy on it and uh, it was rusty and I had an old donut that we drove on for a long time ouch hmm it's a long way to get to the next rest stop so I I decided I've got to try to put this donut on here on the front right tire wheel and I didn't have a lug nut wrench I had a spare and nothing well I had a jack with no handle on it and it was rusty and I'm like well I'm glad I'm where people can stop and help me and I started trying to mess with it dug out the trunk and got it open and prepared and then this mechanic named Robert came along and changed that front tire lickety split we'll tell you more about that later but and then so I went out on the road he said yeah it's clear go get out on the road where's the fucking bus stop I hope there's one here realm am I in? I might have to walk clear to Walmart. I thought that the bus stop was right outside the school. I don't know where I got that idea. 
when we moved in here, they said the bus stop is right across the street. So I thought it was right across the street. My gosh, this is going to be a long fucking trip. Well, getting from Walmart home yesterday was the hardest damn part. And when I say yesterday, I probably got home at like 1.30 or 2 in the morning. So, I hiked most of it through the dark alongs of Cerritos. And I looked so awesome. I was sparkling like tranquil light. So everybody saw me. But I was wishing I had a, an advertisement on my back. Since the car is getting us a lot of attention. But I don't have an advertisement on my back except for it says Spider-Man. And that's pretty fucking true. So... My baby's at home. He's sicker than a dang dog. He was here when I got home. And I was glad. He had to walk for 10 hours. 10 hours. From Bishop's Lodge. On Bishop's, Bishop's Lodge Road. On in Tsuke. Oh, this is awesome. There's a place to sit. I'm going to see if I can get further, further, further. Um, Bishop's Lodge Road, and he had no shoes. No shoes. No shoes. And he walked all the way clear through Santa Fe to the other side with no shoes. And it took him 10 hours about. I, on the other hand, ended up stuck on the side of the road on 599 where, oh my goodness, where my left front ouch tire blew out. I told my sweetheart a minute ago as I was setting out on this grand adventure alone with you guys, thank goodness. I told him, <laughs> if they don't think we're crazy by now, well, nothing will make them believe it because we are crazy. So, let's see. I'm not going to be able to keep you guys on this whole trip. I'm going to have to turn you guys off every once in a while. And you're my inspiration right now. Yeah, it's my baby and it's my girl at home. But you guys are my inspiration. Come on. Dang it. I've been promoting this show like crazy. And everybody's excited about it. Even the tow truck driver and his lady. And... His name is Mario. I think her name is Jennifer. If not, it's Jessica. I had it, have it written down, but I'm pretty sure it's Jennifer. And they were totally cool. And they're from Anaya Towing. Anaya Towing. And Tom Thompson paid the bill. I, 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 me and my baby talked. He was in the library and he called me, and he says. Well, I'm bare, barefoot. Cool. I'm barefoot. That person almost had an accident but didn't. So, good job. Um, just driving like a dang maniac, though. But, ouchie. Uh, and that's kind of how the front tires not flew off. And technically, I don't think they even blew out. The second one, I think, did on the highway. But there was apparently a big chunk out of it. According to Mario at the Anaya Towing. And Anaya Towing, the towing was paid for by our great friend and hero, Tom Thompson, of Salt Lake City, Utah. And, uh, and then... Our other heroes were Anaya Towing and Mario and Jennifer because they showed up and got me, my girls, and Paka on the dang road again. Well, not really. They got us over to Pep Boys and had to walk from there. But 
Uh, I figured they were going to offer to give me a ride because they just loved me so much and I don't blame them. <laughs> Wonderful. But man, I should have brought that hat. I was wearing yesterday for the hug. <laughs> that was smart of me to wear that hat. But I left it at home. I got everything organized and missed some of it. I'm trying to head out like I'm a. Uh, I'm actually going further away from where I'm trying to get to to catch the bus that will get me where I gotta go. So, boy, do I feel for disabled people right now. I, I wish I would have brought that cane. I thought of it and I said, don't be a fucking wimp. Not wimp, but wimp. <laughs> and I, I'm like, Look, yesterday I tied this ace bandage around my waist where I got a bad, man, you know, let's say maybe some cracked ribs. And uh, I was like, man, I need to put an ace bandage around that. But if I do, my baby's going to think I'm a wimp. Well, <laughs> compared to send to what the fuck he went through, I probably am a wimp. Uh, I had his shoes on. He had no shoes. Wow, this is totally cool. I sat down here yesterday. One of the many times I sat down on this road and made the girls rest in the shopping cart. And I was like, damn, I need to pee finally. I got all that way without peeing. I peed before the towing truck came and got me, and I'm like, that'll car carry me all the way home. But no fucking way. But I got close. And I was sitting here, and I was like, look, I'm sitting here looking up at the moon, and the moon was stunning, and the stars, and really just appreciating life as people drove past me while I was dying on the side of the fucking road in the middle of the damn night. God, what do these homeless people go through with the ones that live on the streets, man? Well, a lot like what I'm going through today, and it is bad. But I gotta get tough, and they've gotta get tough. Or move into housing and still get tough, because we all have to be tough in this world. So anyway, I was like, hey, nobody's coming around. No traffic's coming by. I'll just pull down my pants and whiz here, because I cannot get back there. Uh, it was too far to walk to go there. And so I just whipped it out and peed. And when I got rid of that pee, I don't know if I've experienced this all the time when I pee, but, or other people do, but when I peed, I was like, damn, I feel so much better. I must have been holding in that pee big time. And it was depleting my strength and energy because holding pee in, if, especially if it's cold, will make you colder so your body works harder to warm up the pee and you in your bladder. Oh, mm, let's go. Man, I'm doing better than I did last night getting up going home. Uh, that's good. Because I got to do better than that because I got a long trip ahead of me. But the good news is I'm catching the bus this time. Hey, I'm cruising now. This is what Luna did yesterday when she realized, hell, we have a fucking long way to go. She started trotting, trotting very lightly, lifting her feet up real high and kind of prancing. I can't say I'm prancing, but I'm trying to be light on my feet with this heavy backpack on my back. Oh, it may weigh maybe 20 pounds or five I don't know but it's really fucking heavy I'll say that much but yesterday I had to carry all that stuff and so I did and I lost several things along the way even though I was trying hard to keep them and maybe I'll end up getting a bag I don't know who knows it was a hat left out in, Bishop, in front of Bishop, 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 Bishop's Lodge Road and a pair of gloves over on a rock on Cerritos and some 
something else. I hated leaving Paca. Had to gather up all this shit. I was like, well... I thought, she's going to be abandoned on the side of the road. I need to take all this shit. But that was not true. The tow truck was on its way. But thinking like that made me choose what I chose. And it was a lot. But I think I did good. And uh, I think I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> not the whole part where the front tires break out. Just the part where I go for a walk. <laughs> somebody on a bike. Nice ride. I envy him that bike. Not envy him that bike. I envy that bi him having that bike. <sighs> need to get a bike because if I have a bike I'll probably have it at home in the, in the garden while I'm out driving the car and the tires blow out somewhere and it won't do me shit good to have a bike mm. well this much I know we're making everybody happy we're taking hits like soldiers in Vietnam, man. And so is Paca. And so is Luna. And so is Dobby. And we're just having to get tougher, man.